In patients with atrial fibrillation, oral anticoagulants reduce the risk of stroke. In patients without atrial fibrillation, implantable cardiac devices can detect subclinical atrial high-rate episodes. A new trial assesses whether treating such patients with oral anticoagulants would be beneficial. In this event-driven, double-blind, double-dummy, randomized trial, 2,608 patients 65 years of age or older who had atrial high-rate episodes lasting at least six minutes, at least one risk factor for stroke, and no history of atrial fibrillation were randomly assigned to receive either 60 mg of once-daily edoxaban or placebo. The primary efficacy outcome was a first occurrence of a composite of cardiovascular death, stroke, or systemic embolism evaluated in a time-to-event analysis. After a median follow-up of 21 months, the incidence of a primary outcome event did not differ significantly between the two groups, 3.2% per patient year in the adoxaban group and 4.0% per patient year in the placebo group. The incidence of ischemic stroke, a secondary outcome, was low and similar in the two groups. The safety outcome, which was a composite of death from any cause or major bleeding, favored the placebo group, with a rate of 5.9% per patient year with adoxaban and 4.5% per patient year with placebo. This difference was driven by a higher incidence of major bleeding in the adoxaban group. The authors conclude that among patients with atrial high-rate episodes detected by implantable devices, Edoxaban was not significantly different from placebo in the incidence of a composite of cardiovascular death, stroke, or systemic embolism, but treatment with edoxaban led to a higher incidence of a composite of death or major bleeding. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.